You know when you get a shoe, it looks awesome, it looks great, even feels good out of the box and then after you spend a month in it, you kind of lose faith and you're just not as excited about it. Well, that was my experience with the Solomon X Ultra Pioneer Arrow, which is a mouthful. So that's what we're gonna go over today. I tested this shoe against four other shoes recently. I spent a month in these shoes and did a bunch of testing in my advanced footwear research laboratory, AKA my garage. And so that's what we're gonna talk about in this video. If you're interested in the shoe, you definitely wanna stick around because I've got a lot to say about it and information that might dissuade you or help you uh, feel more confident about buying this shoe. All right, let's get into it. Okay, so we'll start from the bottom. The outsole is the mud, Conta grip rubber. <laughs> it's got these uh, chevrons going in different directions and Solomon claims that this is really grippy on mud and like loose material and things like that. I do like this. Um, I have this on a different shoe, this kind of pattern here. Um, I have it on the Merrill MQM Flex 2 on both the toe and the heel and I think it works really well. They don't have that quite up there. Um, this compound Conta grip does not work as well as far as grippiness is, is concerned. I think they need to change the name from Conta Grip to Conta Slip or something like that because it's not nearly as grippy as uh, Vibram and it's not even as grippy as some other compounds out there that other shoe manufacturers have come up with. The midsole I would say is adequate. It's pretty nice. Um, when, I, when I got these shoes a month ago, I walked like seven miles in them and they felt pretty good. Um, and that's what I was saying at the beginning of the video. I, I felt good and then the more time I spent in them, especially comparing them to four other shoes, you just realize that, that the shoe's not as good. At least for me, it's not as good. So uh, the, the midsoles are ethyl vinyl acetate foam um, and I think that they're, they're, they're good. Uh, you're gonna feel, if the, sh if the shoe fits you, you're gonna feel quite supported and uh, comfortable in the squishiness of the midsole. These uh, shoes are quite uh, lightweight. The uppers are textile and leather. So these um, gray and black accents are actually leather. Let's see if that, you can, yeah, so this is all leather, see that? And then this bit right here is textile. And that's the same on the inside. Um, and I, th I think that that works. It, uh, I think the shoes might be slightly narrow for my foot, and I think that's kind of the root of all problems that I have with this with this shoe. This is the second Solomon in a year that I've purchased doing these tests, and they I don't know what it is with Solomon, but they just don't quite fit my foot, which is unusual because I have a pretty normal foot, and, and all the other shoes fit fine. The laces are okay. Uh, when I tested these shoes against the four other shoes, they actually lost points for their laces. So these laces, for me, kind of tended to come undone. I had to tighten them down, double knot them, and then cinch that very tightly. And then, it, and then they did work. But if you don't double knot these, in my experience, they kind of tend to come loose. I, I don't believe that these shoes have a rock plate. We are gonna talk about protection here in a minute because I did test these shoes against four other shoes for protection underfoot. Um, I don't think they have a rock plate. They might. Uh, I just searched it up online here a moment ago and I couldn't find it. So probably they don't have a rock plate. Shoe manufacturers like to come up with these uh, trademarked technologies, let's call it. So one of the, the technologies that this shoe has is called Sensifoot. Sensafit from Solomon. It says, the reinforced Sensafit trademark construction holds your foot comfortably in place, especially on those tough downhills. Um, it's supposed to give you a secure foothold inside the shoe. I would say that that's true. I mean, I, I, when you put these on, you, you don't feel like they're gonna fall off, that's for sure. And your foot does not slip around in there. Also because if, you're, if you have a wide foot, these are gonna be too narrow. If you have a, just a normal foot like me, they are perfect, snug, almost too, almost too narrow. So there's no, there's no room in there for your, for your foot to move around anyway, whether they have sense of fit or not. Another thing that the uh, Solomon website says that these have is called the stable and uh, cushioned, right? Stable and cushioned. It says, surrounded by foam cushioning for comfort, the advanced chassis trademark connects directly to the sole to stabilize your heel. Um, interesting. I'm not quite sure what that means. Maybe it's this outer bit with these 
leather straps here that's supposed to lock your heel in place. I did not experience any heel slip in these, so that might be true. Finally, the website talks about extra grip and how they have two different compounds in the sole. Uh, we are gonna talk about grip and the test results uh, that I conducted um, against other shoes. And I would say that the, the grip on these is underwhelming, just to put it mildly. Okay, to, so to test these shoes against the four other shoes for grip, what I do is I have a suspension strap trainer in my garage. I lean forward holding the suspension strap tra trainer kind of underneath my armpits. And then I, I have my body, my, my legs slanting backwards and then I'm up on my toe like this. And I just keep backing the shoes up until they start to slip to where I can't hold it anymore. And at that point I stop and I kind of come back towards the point where I can hold that. And then I just take a picture of that at the inches. And then the shoe that is that wins, that gets, I did it three times for each shoe and it just took the average. That shoe is considered zero. And then every shoe uh, is marked in its inches away from that point that it, that it failed. Um, so these shoes did not perform uh, very well against the other shoes. So you can see the results here, uh, the VASC, Sartoro Trail LT, they actually won this, so they were set at zero. And then you can see the Solomon Pioneer right there was at seven inches from that. So they, they failed seven inches before the other shoe. And then there were a couple shoes here that failed after four inches, 4.7, 4.3 inches, um, that all had either Vibram soles or Quantum Grip from Merrill. So the, um, the Conta Grip, I would say does not work as well as a uh, Vibram or even Quantum Grip from Merrill. Hey, as always, if you're finding something useful in this video, please consider hitting like. That way it will send it out to more people who are interested in purchasing this shoe. Also, this is not the shoe that I that won the test that I just did. So if you're interested in knowing which shoe is the best of the five that I just tested, it's a phenomenal shoe. It's my new favorite. Just check out the video on my channel called Testing Five Hiking Shoes and Picking the Winner. Um, I just posted it like four days ago. So um, it's already gotten like a thousand views at this point. So go check out that video and you can find out which shoe is best and see why I chose that shoe against the others. Okay, uh, next I wanna talk about comfort. So I have spoken about this a little bit already. These shoes uh, do not work for my foot and that's just maybe a function of them being ever so slightly too narrow, but um, the arch support is quite pronounced in here and it's also quite hard and it's also quite forward, I would say. So I have normal to low arches, but I do have arches. And um, at the end of the day, I really wanted to take these off. So one of the things that I did over the last month in testing these five shoes is I would pick a shoe each day and I would wear that shoe all day, wear it to work. I'd go walking, I'd go hiking on the weekends and I'd track all of this and keep comments and notes. And so, as I said, the first time I went out in these, I thought, wow, these things are out of the box ready. You know, I hiked like seven miles that day and, and felt great. But when I started, when the other shoes started to arrive that I had ordered and I started really comparing my experience in this shoe, the Solomon X Ultra Pioneer Arrow against those other shoes, I realized that these were inferior for me as far as comfort is concerned. Even the midsole is not as squishy as the other shoes that I tested. There were other shoes that had much more comfortable uh, midsoles uh, especially the Moab Merrill Speed are very, very comfortable. Even the Merrill MQM Flex 2, which is the shoe that won the test that I did last year, those shoes are more comfortable. And then the Satoro, uh, the Vasque Satoro Trail LT are extremely comfortable. In fact, I'm wearing those right now. So if you're, if you're looking for comfort, um, I don't think that this is the shoe. I, if, you, if you do find this shoe really, really comfortable, I would love to hear that because I've tried two Solomons now. I tried these and last year I tried the, the Solomon Outline GTX and they just didn't work for me either shoe. And, and I don't know why that is, but I do know there's a lot of people that love Solomon. Another interesting test that I did recently, uh, this isn't all the tests that I did by the way, so if you wanna check those out, please do go find the video called Testing Five Hiking Shoes and Picking the Winner. But one of the other tests that I do is I do a head-to-head -head protection underfoot test. So I put one shoe on one foot and then a different shoe on the other foot and I just step on a rock and see which one protects the bottom of my foot more um, from that rock. So which one 
uh, can I feel the rock less or you know gives me sort of more traction when I am stepping on the rock and that sort of thing these shoes performed okay I would say they performed as well as the Merrill Moab speed they were virtually identical in fact when I had one shoe when I had the Merrill Moab speed on one foot and this in this shoe on the other foot I could tell no difference in fact they tied in this for uh, for this test so in this test, they, they tied for second place. The Adidas Terex uh, Swift R3 actually won this test, but they have a very, very hard rubber, beefy uh, sole to them. So almost more like a boot. And so they were gonna, they were gonna beat out these uh, sort of trail runner slash hiking shoes anyway. Okay, that's just a quick review of the Solomon uh, X Ultra Pioneer Arrow. I think these are phenomenal shoes. I don't like them. There's better shoes out there that I just tested. Go check out that video. Um, you know, they're $110, which I, I think is really, really reasonable for the quality and, and all of that. So, it, you know, I'm not telling you don't buy this shoe, but they just don't work for me because they don't fit my foot. And they also don't perform as well as the other shoes that I tested on things like protection and grip. So that is my quick assessment of this shoe. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one.